Welcome back. Let's now take another look at all things Backroads Music Fest at the Rocker B Ranch in Grayford, Texas. With a hand from the festival's founder, Lance Bird, radio personality and event MC and great friend of the show, Justin Frizzell, eight Texas country bands, and a few thousand of their music fan friends. Well, I, I mean, I'm a huge music fan. I've obviously been to lots of concerts kind of for years since I was a little kid. And what I've tried to do is create different experiences uh, for different ways that people like to enjoy a concert. You know, so one of the cool things about the Rocker Bee is it's only a, an hour away from Dallas-Fort Worth. It's really close to Possum King and Lake, but the, the issue is everybody's got to have a place to stay or, or go back home, you know, an hour back. So we've tried to create a, a lot of different alternatives. We, we have our on-site lodging. We also created this year a couple of camping alternatives. Uh, we had kind of a glamping experience where you could show up, your tent was already set up, you had your chairs, your lantern, they had air conditioning in the tents, partnered with Backwoods on that and it went super. We also had RVs on site, we partnered with United RV and they would have an RV set up for you ready to go, you just show up and move in. It's a different experience to stay overnight under the stars where you're just really out in the middle of nowhere and, and it's, uh, it's a really pretty cool experience. Just sing along with all of y'all, say hello to my good friend Mr. Pat Green! And Lance and I have been buddies for, for a long time, and so I think it was just a natural connection between his love for Texas music, my love for Texas music, and then you have the friendship. And so he just called and said, hey, would you come out here and, and help me pull this thing off? And I certainly agreed to do that and was honored to do that from an MC aspect. So that's how I got started, uh, and this year for the Backroads Music Festival, it just kind of rolled into that. The amphitheater is, is really a baseball field. We play baseball tournaments out there all year long. The stage is actually the backstop of, of the baseball field. We take the nets down, and you're, the artist is literally standing kind of behind home plate and can walk all the way out on the top of the dugouts, uh, which kind of gives them the ability to kind of access, you know, a crowd of up to seven, 8,000 people and can kind of walk down the, the dugouts and kind of get a little closer to all the fans. Man, Mickey and Mike Ryan just love their music. They were awesome. Uh, it was so cool to have uh, Co Wetzel. Pat Green and Randy Rogers in a row. I mean, I don't know where you get to go see that show. Obviously, Pat and Randy did, just gave it everything they had and, and put on a great show. Um, it was awesome with Casey Donahue, super high energy show. Just love it, love watching him play. Just the whole weekend was phenomenal. Just had a, had a great time. Oh, I think we all get excited, you know, when festival season comes around just because, you know, it's just, it's a different type of energy than, than playing, uh, you know, bars or, or venues or where, wherever you're playing. You know, there's just that, that type of energy of, you know, it's outdoors, you know, everybody's hot, you know, everybody's just drinking and having a great time. It's a different type of feeling. It's kind of like uh, going to the playoffs in football or something, you know, it's different than a regular season, but it's exciting. You realize what you've done, so you see that morning sun, you buy what's up, you feel Just first of all, the setting for that festival, just the ranch that it's on. The ranch is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and yeah, there's obviously different levels that you can buy in at, but uh, I mean, if you decide to come to that festival or any of his festivals and in VIP style, you truly are a VIP. You get more than just a, a seat up close or wristband and a couple drink tickets. I mean, you get an experience and that is, uh, especially at Lance's place, being able to go jump in the pool with the artist, you know, during their, the, when they're not playing, you know, that, cause they're there all day just hanging out. And, when you're at a place like that, they took advantage of it just like the fans did. This event, we were really catering to a lot of different people. We were, we were, we were catering to college kids who wanted to come over and enjoy Co Wetzel and get after it. And then we also were catering to families. I mean, we had Little League Baseball sectionals going on out there. We had the, the coaches and families of, of those kids. We had people that rented tents just to come camp with just their family. It was mom and dad and two kids, and they're in a, and they're in a, in a tent, and they're fishing, and they're swimming, and they're having a good time, and then they just wanted to come over and enjoy the festival as well. So we had, we had plenty of security. We kept everything really clean, really safe, and what we really tried to provide was a, just a fun, clean, safe environment. Like whether you're two or 92, you can come out there and just have a great time in a fun, safe environment and, uh, and have a good time with some great Texas music.